Remember we stayed in the closet all night? We just cuddled up like two little mice and listened to their whole fight. I was so angry. I was hurt. I was just go out there and kick his ass. And you remember what you said to me? Well, you were just six. But you said it was going to be okay. And Dad was not going to live a lie that he was going to try to be happy. And that everyone deserved to be happy. I said that? Yeah. That was so profound. Why are you being so nice to me? You should hate me. For what? For having good taste? We never have to worry about it. I mean, she's completely, madly, passionately like a cow jump over the moon in love with you. Really? Yeah. That's great. For me. Also great for you. But you're not going to make me feel guilty for this, are you? Mm -mm. Oh, great. You know what? You can't expect the first girl that you fall in love with to love you back. That's, that's not how it works. That would be the equivalent of settling down when you were age 12. You haven't even gone through gay puberty yet. I'm thinking I'm ready to come out. To everyone? No, the elevator. Oh, the elevator. I should have broken up with Derek ages ago. I am having the best time. So what about you? Have you met anyone yet? Not yet. Really? Girls should be lining up around the block for you. What's your type? I don't have a type. I mean, like, the basics, like brunette, blonde, short, tall. Depends, I guess. Funny, you need funny. Funny would be good. And stylish, no Birkenstocks. That's for sure. And for the love of God, please don't wind up with one of those ladies who doesn't believe in waxing. You You're know killing I mean? me. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Have you ever been attracted to me? No. Really? No. Not even a little? No. Yeah. Huh. Oh. Not even last year when I was all in shape after shaking those Pilates classes? Or last week when I wore that pink Marc Jacobs dress to work and you told me how cute I looked? You look so cute. You are cute, but you know, not cute that way. Cute. Hmm. Wow, that's so depressing. I mean, it's not like I'm into girls or anything, but if I was a girl who was into girls, I'd definitely be into me because I think I'm a catch. You are a catch, yeah. but uh, I don't know, you're not my type. Hmm. But you said you don't have a type. You gotta stop talking about this. All right. <laughs> Wait, don't you usually have therapy at lunchtime on Thursday? Oh, my God, I'm so late. Shoot. OK, you know, I don't really want to go, so watch this. <sighs> Sydney, it's great. I'm sorry I'm late, but I don't want to go to the batting cages, and I don't want to go rock climbing or bowling or anywhere with you, because <laughs> I'm feeling really good about myself, and I don't think you're a very good therapist for me. So you're fired. Thank you, and have a nice day. <laughs> Can we get a mani pedi before we go back to work? Sure. I need a pedicure. Yeah. So what if I dyed my hair red? Would you be attracted to me then? Yes. Really? You're hot. Ooh, <laughs> mamu. <laughs> Why do I have to? Because you're gay and you have to start behaving like it. Okay, what's this to do? Wear a sign on my forehead? No, but Grey, you haven't had sex with a woman yet. And, you know, that's like being black and never having listened to the Jackson 5 or being Jewish and never having a Kanish or being Indian and never having had a curry or being... Or being Scottish and not keeping your mouth shut. I suppose so. Sorry, no men allowed. Wait, was not that against the law? And I'm only going in for a wee minute. Yeah, no exceptions, no men. Forget it. I don't know, just, just go in by yourself. No, I can't go in by myself. Are you kidding? I have an idea. I would like an apricot sour, please. I'll have a Cosmo, not too much cranberry. 
and a touch of lemon and a squeeze of lime. And a little bit of sugar on one side of the rim. Give it up. Apricot sour? I thought that was what you women drank. Christ sakes. Or your eyelashes. Give me a minute. Hi. Can I buy you a drink? Oh, no. Um, I don't drink. You see, but thanks. You don't? Shut up. <laughs> this is quite tasty, actually. Let's get out of here. I'm not going to meet anyone here. Hey, give it a minute. Oh my god, it's Julia Bartlett. Quick, quick, you got to get out of here. Why? You never see me in a gay bar. Hello? Is there anybody in? No, her. Hey. Did your mum ever tell you what your IQ scores were? <laughs> Hi, Gray. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. I'm just taking a break from working on your account. Gray, I, I didn't come over here to check up on you. <laughs> hello. Uh, hello. Uh, my name's Georgette. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. And, um, lovely. And I'm just going to leave you two to, uh, to, um, to catch up on everything. Mm, lovely. Yeah, it was lovely to see you two. Really nice. Yeah. That's way. Kisses. So, um, fine. It's fine. I'm fine. You're fine. Everything's going to be fine, and I've got to go now. Bye. You really surprised me the other day. I had no idea you were gay. <sighs> that makes two of us. You're not just coming out, are you? Put it this way. My hotel's been closed for a long time, but tonight's the grand opening. There have been a few fake openings, but tonight's the real deal. <laughs> I... No, I, I don't understand. <laughs> You really are adorable. I always thought so. Really? From day one in that little cream pinstripe suit you were wearing. I like that suit too. <laughs> I think I got it at uh, Banana Republic or maybe it was uh, Emporio Armani. Actually, it could have been Barney's, but the shirt I think was from Bloomies. Listen, I have this beautiful bottle of cognac that I just brought back from France and I would I'd love to share it with you you have it here with you no my place oh. Central Park West and 85th uh, okay well I like cognac <laughs> mm -hmm. I like cognac I like brandy too I usually have a little cognac with a splash of brandy on the side but I have brandy too Then you bet I will So crystal clear That anything is possible It's a brand new day And I am living it up Nothing's gonna bring me down Give it up, you're toast No words
friend you stepping up my sights gonna change this world